A local business is taking a unique approach in how he's dealing with crime in his city. Yeah, tonight we're taking you to Howard County, just about nine miles east of Kokomo. That's where you'll find Greentown, Indiana, and that is where WRTV's Adam Schumes found a man whose business had been vandalized with graffiti, and his response to the situation shows the power of second chances and understanding. In Greentown, Indiana. Well, it's it's small. Population a little more than 2,000. It's uh, normally crime-free or relatively. Expert appliance repair owner James Chaplin recently purchased what used to be the old family dollar. We do commercial and uh, residential uh, appliance repair. We repair every appliance. Uh, we service uh, here in Indiana, we service Marion County North up to Howard County. Over the weekend, he got wind that his new building was vandalized multiple times. We had some kids come through town and uh, uh, they spray painted uh, they spray painted several businesses and uh, uh, some cars and a uh, couple of a uh, couple of landmark uh, signs, I suppose. And uh, they got they got our building back here pretty good. So instead of pressing charges, Chaplin decided to take the situation into his own hands and used the power of social media. I reached out to one of the one of the kids' dads and uh, you know said, hey, listen, if we can just have him come over and uh, I'll even help just get this thing cleaned up, I, I think that's uh, I think that'd be punishment enough. In comes 16-year-old Lucas Graber, the suspected culprit. He was just disappointed. Just disappointed and kind of mad. Lucas and James met on Wednesday at Expert Appliant Repair's new building and started to get to work. I mean, there's really two options here. I mean, option one is they can uh, they can just uh, get put into a system and someone that has no responsibility for what happened can be cleaning it up or they can have a natural consequence. All in all, it took the pair about 45 minutes to clean up all the graffiti and Lucas says he learned a valuable lesson. Just think before I do. For Chaplin, he hopes others will follow his approach. Take some time to think about things from other people's point of view and, um, you know, get outside of yourself for just a little bit. Get outside of your own head for just a little bit. Working for you, Adam Shumes, WRTV. Definitely a good lesson there. Well, Chaplin tells WRTV that once expert appliance repair reopens, he hopes to give the teen a job.